So we're going to talk about individual goal setting. So I've distilled this down to three learning objectives today. The so why is setting your goals important? The second is how can you set and achieve your goals? The third is what is one goal that you want to achieve? So why is setting your goals important? So I have three quotes here. And two are kind of similar, one's a little different. So the first one is from humorist Will Rogers. And it says that most people are aiming at nothing and hitting it with remarkable accuracy. Second is from media mogul Ted Turner. You should set goals beyond your reach so you always have something to live for. The last, a personal favorite, <laughs> Kardashian. I don't really have goals as far as like I want to be on a cover or something like that. <laughs> so just a couple of, of different quotes about goals or lack thereof to get us started thinking about why it's important to have goals and to set goals. Let's brainstorm for a bit. I want to ask you guys some questions and I want to get you some feedback. How do these quotes apply to your life and what do they mean to you? Uh, well, the Ted Turner quote, uh, how you should set your goals beyond your reach so you always have something to live for. Applying to UCLA, that was kind of a reach for me. Just by even setting those goals so high that even if I like fail, it's pretty high up there. I wouldn't have thought that would have gotten in. Likewise, in a similar fashion, I'll get some students who submit a paper to me and say, this sucks, but here it is anyway. Why would you tell me it sucks? Because now you've just prejudiced my opinion of it, mm -hmm. right? You just set the bar low, you have no goal. You set it higher than you thought you could achieve and then if you achieve it, wow, what a great pat on your back that is. But if you just assume you're going to fail, why are you even trying? Gaining the support of your companions and colleagues is a great way to focus your energies, to redirect yourself if you lose faith. Often we are our own worst critics. We shoot ourselves down before anybody else does. Most of the time, we are much better than we think we are, and other folks think we are better than we assume they think we are. So it's, Get forward to another question. Why is it important for you and not others or other people to set your goals? In other words, the difference between somebody saying you should do this versus you saying I should do this. Uh, I'll give you a quick story. When I graduated from UCSB, my degree, my undergraduate degree is in English, and then I subsequently got an MBA. So everybody who knew I graduated with a degree in English all said the same thing to me. So, are you going to be a teacher or are you going to go to law school? And being a contrarian, I said, why are you telling me what I should be? I'm going to be neither. <laughs> so now, of course, am I? I'm a teacher. So. <laughs> but I did that on my turn, right? <laughs> and it's hard when you have parents, friends, significant others who sometimes mean well. I thought I wanted to be a heart surgeon. And it wasn't that I thought I wanted to be a heart surgeon, but my dad thought that I would want to be a heart surgeon. And he was well-meaning. The fact is, science is not my strength. The greatest irony of my life is that the first syllable of my name, math, is my worst subject. So for a long time, I aspired to a goal that wasn't mine, but I didn't own it. I didn't have ownership. And the last question, so what happens when you don't establish goals for yourself? If you don't set your own goals, A, you'll have no direction, or the direction that you take is somebody else's direction for you that might undershoot where you could actually hit from a target perspective. Just because you have a goal doesn't mean you're never going to change it. And you may or may not achieve it, but that doesn't mean it's a failure. In some ways, it's a learning experience. Believe me, I have had more redirection of goals in the past several years than I ever imagined I would. But often, you can figure out, well, you know, maybe there is a silver lining here somewhere. Maybe I can turn this around and find something in this that I can leverage to help me learn and grow. So how can you set and achieve your goal? My philosophy on goals is that goals are actually ideas in action. They're not just a thought. They're not just this random idea floating on an iceberg somewhere that nobody ever sees or does. They're actionable. That's the point of a goal. If you're not moving towards it, it's the same thing as not having a goal. First, you, uh, you I, imagine your goal. Now, there are kind of two different factors in creating your goal or defining it. Much as in the case of leadership, there is transactional leadership and transformational leadership. Similarly, you could have the same kind of goals. And in a similar kind of parallel way, a transactional goal might be something very specific, like I need to you know, return my books to the library by the due date. Transformational goals are bigger picture. It's I want to 
be the CEO of a company. I want to go to medical school. I want to graduate medical school. They're bigger picture, multi-step goals, but you have to decide which one it is because that changes how you approach it. Likewise, you can have a short-term goal and a long-term goal. So a short-term goal might be something today, tomorrow, this week, this month. It might even be a couple years out. It depends how you process time. Long-term goals are bigger. They might be decades, two decades, 10 years, 20 years. The older I get, the faster time seems to go. There have been some in interesting psychological studies about this. Some of it has to do with when you, you know, have other responsibilities, when you have kids, you have other things that take your time, you have less time to sit and think about things. So you're just moving it, right? But time goes very quickly. So the next step is D, it's to design your strategy. The fact is you can't just have a goal and skip around and it magically happens. You need to design your strategy. And by that I mean you need to figure out the process, the steps, what are the tasks within that bigger goal that you need to complete. Some goals have multiple tasks or projects that you need to you know, accomplish in sequence, some are in parallel. You need to delineate all the pieces or all the steps because that's an important part. Design your strategy both in how to do it, in what order, and how you are going to approach it, right? How you're going to manage that process. The second two parts are doing and analyzing, right? Because after you execute it, after you do it, assess it.